So you know a bit about intellectual property. How small business people become <laughs> big business people by protecting their innovations through six different types of IP. But knowing a little bit can be dangerous. To avoid simple, costly and irreversible mistakes, you need to know what you don't know. Oh, before you create a new trademark or invention or design, you may not know what's already out there. There's no point reinventing the wheel or creating a trademark that someone else owns. You might find yourself in court or having to remove your advertising and website. It happens all the time, especially where business names are confused with registered trademarks. That's why searching is so important and it applies to any IP right. Start by looking on the internet. Does anyone in your industry have a similar brand, invention or design to yours? If you want to be really safe, you'll also need to search IP databases, either here in Australia or all over the world if it's an invention or design, or if you want trademark protection in other countries. But properly searching these databases is not like searching the web. It requires expert skills, a good grasp on technology, and also how the courts interpret your particular IP. These are skills that take months or even years to develop. IP databases are open for the general public to use. However, there may be better ways to invest your time. So while searching before you innovate is important, you should seriously consider professional help. That's where an attorney or an examiner probably knows something you don't know. So what's the difference between an attorney and an examiner? And what do you get for your money? Examiners assess your application, whether it be a trademark, a patent, a design or a plant breeder's right to make sure it meets its legal requirements. These requirements protect the public interest. Of course, there are many directions you could take your IP. Attorneys can help you navigate depending on where you want your business to go. Examiners cannot give you business advice. They simply administer the rules, making it fair for everyone, including your competitors and customers. So to summarise, what are the simple things you need to do before you start a business or develop a new product? Search the internet for what's already out there. Also, see what business names and domain names are available. It's handy to match them with your trademark. Search the IP databases for trademarks, designs, patents, and plant breeders' rights, whatever is relevant. If it's too hard, then consider getting a professional to search for you. If you only want trademark protection in Australia, you can use an examiner to do the search for about the same price as calling a plumber. TM Head Start is a great service to get a rough idea if your trademark can be registered in Australia. Or see a trademark attorney who can search across many different countries. And remember, an attorney can give you advice in line with your business goals. Having the freedom to operate before you start trading is much better for your peace of mind. Visit ipaustralia.gov.au for more information.